¿Eh? ¿Qué era? Javier Rico. ¿Eh? Javier Rico. Yo con el raza. ¿Y qué hacía acá? Javier de fútbol. Well, I think you know me, and uh, <clears throat> we are going to try to take the best decision for Saturday, to try to be competitive and be close to win and performance in the best way. It's not easy, of course, because uh, every three days to play um, is so tough for the players and, of course, for the staff. But we are going to try to take the best decision, to put a very fresh team, fresh leg, fresh mind, and try to compete in the best uh, in the best way. I would imagine the player is going to new camp in a game that means a lot. <coughs> would that be quite distracting? Have you been have you had to keep your your focus where it was obviously an important game for Leicester? No, I think the focus for us is is to try to win the three points against Leicester. That is the most important game. Doesn't exist uh, Barcelona. We are going to maybe to rotate some players because they need rest, not because we are going to play in Barcelona Tuesday. And uh, that is why um, I anticipate you and anticipate the people that the decision that they, we are going to take is always thinking and try uh, to provide the, the best uh, the best things to the player. If we detect some player tired, maybe to rest, but thinking always in try to win the game again, again later. But not thinking in the in the game after. You've spoken about managing uh, Kieran Trippier's injury in <coughs> the Leicester game. Will he be okay for, for the Barcelona game? How, how much football does he have in him in December? Is this a December injury? Uh, sorry, you asked me what is going to be tomorrow. Uh, Barcelona. Trippier. Trippier. Will, will he be okay for Barcelona? I don't know, I cannot guess. Um, I cannot guess. After it came off um, Wednesday, I think, uh, first of all, we need to try, we are creating a plan for him uh, to help to improve. Um, if we apply common sense, it's difficult for tomorrow to play when you came off after uh, 48 hours or 72 hours. It's, it's not, uh, I think it's not common sense to, to think in, in to play with him. And I don't believe Barcelona is going to be available. We'll see. We need to assess him and we'll see what happened, what is going on. Um, after to be training and resting and with a plan uh, to improve in his problem, um, he cannot go up with 90 minutes. And that is why we cannot make another mistake. Because after <clears throat> in, that, in that busy uh, feature, um, it's difficult to play with some player that thinking that you need to manage the, the bench because maybe not arrive to, to complete the 90 minutes. And that is why we need to be sure next time that we are going to think to put him to play that uh, we, we are right that is uh, going to cope with the 90 minutes. After something can happen in football um, that you cannot avoid 100% of risk. But it's so important to to be... Uh, right, um, and of course, thinking in, in try to to help him always. Like uh, we are, we are thinking for all the player. You mentioned the fact he played in injuries sort of post his health World Cup a few days after his knee injury initially. What have you said to Gareth Southgate about that? No, but I am so uh, clear in my concept. Uh, I think I explained Wednesday after the in my press conference. When you came off and after uh, um, and you left your team with one player less, that was in the in that case because uh, all the um, changes were uh, were doing. It's just to do? It's to do. And it's because you are in a in a problem, no? Because you are playing the final, semi final is the final. And after three days to be available to play it's a little bit weird, no, the situation. But uh, in in our opinion, under our in the way that we see the things, for me, a player that came off 
uh, as two came off the 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 pitch, the, 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 the pitch of course. Um, it's the common sense that after three days it's impossible to play because unseen is is not is unseen wrong in in that situation. And um, yes, of course, uh, I I told you that uh, the problem started there for him. Remember that was a, I don't know with who when we gave rest again uh, we we start uh, giving more time to recovery. He didn't start the, the season on Newcastle, and after the first game, the Champion League was again Inter de Milan. There, remember that I explained the cows and the train. Remember that metaphor, eh? Yes, exactly. And remember, and um, yes, the question was why, 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 why? And look, um, the people and you, you need to trust in our assessment and in our decision is because always we. We try to do the best for the player. Um, Sometimes to put pressure may uh, or, or confuse the people, um, you know. Uh, but we are always thinking in the same way because our priority is to help the player, is to provide the best, the best platform for them to performance. And the first that we are interested in to win the games, always this guy, because if we lose the game, the first that is going to pay for that is this guy. The coach, the head coach, the manager, when no win games, is the first that is go to, to the street away. Yes, of course, that is the, the reality in football. And that is why uh, it's a lot of things that we need to change in football, but that perception is the same. The coaches always have the right reason to take the decision for one or another thing and always we try to win games we're never going to be against ourselves no? to play uh, again ourselves uh, uh, sorry no no i don't need no no i don't need they know how clear we are uh, we are after uh, i think six years working uh, on england we are the first that we are interested that the national team um, um, take all the success that we that they can. I think we feel part of the success of the English national team. Uh, we are always open to help uh, the coaching staff and of course the manager. And we have a very good relationship, very open relationship, very um, honest relationship, very clean, uh, clear. A relationship and yes maybe we we now we share our our decision and how we see the the things and yes um, no problem i think all always is about to be positive in all the situation to help us of course but help the national team to have the best uh, player uh, ready to compete in and, and win games that is the most important thing Look, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't hear him what he, he said. Of course, um, um, the comment from from Simon or from the people arrived to me. I, and only, I'm not going to create a debate with, with him or with another player. I seen another player. I seen everyone is entitled to to give their opinion. Um, if you ask me, I am so, so uh, happy to play on, on Wembley. I, I was explaining before uh, some people. When I was uh, I born in Argentina, when, uh, when I hear England for the first time was um, with all the problems with the Falkland, I think very sad uh, news when I hear for the first time in I was in Argentina, in my own town. And then when I arrived to Europe, and when I played the World Cup, again England, and when after we arrived to Southampton six years ago, I am, um, of course, I changed completely my mind. 
uh, in the way that I, I saw, now I see uh, this country. I am, for me, it's an honor to be here. It's a pleasure to be here. And I discovered uh, an amazing people, an amazing country, very too close to us. Sometimes, yes, we always could compare in Argentina with Spain, with, with Italy, but we have more coincidence with the English people in Argentina than maybe than Spain or, or Italy. And uh, when you, like we love football, always we, you hear about Wembley. And always was a dream to play in Wembley. I, I played in 2000 with the national team on, on the uh, old Wembley and was a dream become true. And now every week or every two uh, week to have the possibility to play on Wembley, for me, is a gift. For me, it's about to enjoy every day that when I took the, I don't know if it's a North Circular or I don't know. Yes, when I look the bridge, I, I, I say thank you because to every game that I play on Wembley, it's a, it's a gift. We take like a, like a gift. And Jesus the same because we always go together to the Wembley and say, one game more. What lucky we are. And for me, it's, yes, for me, it's uh, the best place on the world to play football. And of course, it's going to be after we are going to share with our new stadium. It's going to be the two best places to play. Our new stadium, Wyhar Lane and Wembley. Personally, for me, it's a gift to have the possibility to play on Wembley every, every two weeks. Of course, after the disappointed, our fans, I understand. Uh, player, understand. But, but for me, I take very positive to play there. For me, it's a gift, and it's a gift uh, that uh, um, I, I want to enjoy every time that I, I am there. Quick question on, on Jack Grealish. He said that <coughs> Look, I think it's a plenty of players were related with uh, Tottenham, not only in last summer, in the previous season. Um, you know that it's difficult to talk about rumours, about names. I told you, we'll see what happened in January. <clears throat> I think we are, we have full squad. I think we have 28 on the squad. I think it's impossible to sign player if we, after, not... Uh, um, you have a space to, to because we we have more. Look at what happened in in Champion League with Juan Foyt, Shike in Kudu or Vincent, Vincent Janssen. I see that we don't have place enough at the moment, and it's no sense to talk about to sign players. You know. Okay. Hi. <coughs> Um, I don't understand. No. Ah, um, yes, he's out for for tomorrow. He suffered a, a hit in his uh, ankle. Is comes? Eh? Ah, Juan. Uh, okay, we we'll start again. Yes, Juan. Uh, yes, but it's not a big issue. I think it's only to don't to take take a risk about about him, and then it's sure for Saturday it's going to be out. But uh, after in Tuesday he cannot play because he's out of the list, and then uh, sure he's going to be ready for tennis game. We're more than a third of the way through the season now. How would you assess? Yeah, I think we assess if the last season, um, in that period, after 15 games, I think we had uh, six points less. Less. I think now we have maybe nine por point more than the last season in that period. I don't, I don't know. Eh? I didn't see. I, I saw before the Southampton game, but now I don't know if, if after 15 games, um, I think, yes, we finished the first half of the season with 34, and now we have uh, 33, yes. 
if not re but I have good memory. And I think you can say, in some point, we improve. You can say, so far, so good, uh, the season. Um, I don't know, everyone can take in the way that uh, they want. But for me, it's always to assess the season on the end. How you finish on the end is the most important. You can be on the top today or fifth uh, or ten, but if after you achieve all uh, that you want on the end, is the most important. It's how you are going to finish. At the moment, I think we are um, we are fighting. In, uh, we are in a very good place in Premier League. Of course, um, we arrive in a very decisive game against Barcelona, a must-win game. Um, Yes, I think we are in a, in a situation that uh, for many people maybe uh, didn't believe that uh, after all the, the happened in summer. Uh, but I think the belief in this that we have in this team and we create and I think is, uh, is, is so strong and uh, gave us or give us the possibility to, to fight for, for big things when I think no one counts. In us. Remember, after it was closed the transfer window, uh, no signing, uh, the people were so pessimist. Um, after arrived the stadium, that we need to delete, to delay to move, and play in Wembley again. Um, the people were so pessimist about our future, but we are we are fighting. Uh, like the previous season, and that is, I think, is a massive credit for the for the club, for the player, of course. Traditionally, if you look at the last few seasons, Spurs have played very well and got a lot of points in December. Do you think your players are the type of players that do well when there are a lot of games in, you know, coming thick and fast? <sighs> look, it's true that the season is, is completely different than the previous season, because previous season we had uh, a properly pre-season, and uh, now it's a challenge. It's a challenge for us, the future, uh, how we are going to to performance. Um, you know, it's all new. I think for us, it, for many clubs, the same. Uh, we are not only us, different clubs have a lot of injury too. Um, yes, it's not easy because not only depend uh, that your, your training, your preparation, uh, your method, uh, you depend to, uh, because you know, in that period is some virus, an illness, cold, uh, flu, um, you know, how you rest. Um, it's a plenty of things, uh, the circumstance that um, sometimes is not depend only that how you are going to manage you know, the rest, how you are going to rotate the player, or how if you are going to train more or less, is uh, plenty of things that you need to, to care. That is why it's, it's so busy and so tough for the player, but it's so difficult for the staff, for the medical staff. That is why I want to say thank you, because all the medical staff, uh, of course, the nutritionists, the people here that is working a lot uh, to try to, to help to provide the best tool to the player to be ready to compete. Um, and yes, it's, it's so tough for everyone. No, I think Leicester is a very good team. After the tragedy, it's, it's, a, it's a so difficult thing to, to recover after that. Um, we are so painful. I'm so sorry for, for everyone there. Um, but they have a great manager, great players. I think they have a very good squad. Uh, it's a team that plays so well with clear ideas. And it's, uh, of course, they are doing a fantastic job. Um, it's not easy, but um, yes, for for me it's going to be a tough a tough game. I think it's it's a game that is going to be more difficult than the previous game that we play. Yeah, yeah welcome. Last one, please. Mauricio, can we talk to Eric Lamella's injury? I mean, how frustrating that was for for him and you. He seemed to be really quite in his rhythm. Yes, but yes, Eric is going to be. I think for the. I think is for. I think tomorrow or after tomorrow is going to to be again with the group training and available maybe for Tuesday to be select. Uh, yeah, but uh, one thing we need to, to understand, Lamela, uh, he suffered a massive uh, uh, problem 
remember it was good, more than one year out. He suffered two surgery, and, uh, and need time, need time. Uh, it was a small problem, but tiny problem. But in that competition and on England to compete is so tough. Um, yes, but I think only need to be consistent. Uh, the most important thing that was a big issue and is is now uh, nearly ready again to be to be uh, ready to compete again. On the video, we work on the videos. We work uh, talking individual with the individual player, with the defensive line, with the midfielder, with the striker, with the keeper. I think it's, it's um, yes, it's different because it's impossible to work on the pitch too much. And um, yes, that is the only way that we can work and improve. Is that a cause for concern because of Barcelona coming up? Yeah, but I think it's, it's, import, it's important to understand after 3-0, uh, previous games were very tough and emotional uh, games. And of course, it's maybe drop uh, your focus. And when you, after you want to reconnect again, it's late and it's difficult to come back. It's easy to lose the focus, but it's so difficult to switch on again. And that is important to understand. I think that was the problem more than the tactics or, or our performance was uh, poor. I think that this was a problem and we need to understand that we cannot lose the focus during, during 90 minutes. Happen what happened during the game.